What is up, Bomb Squad? This is your boy. Come on. That does sound stupid, doesn't, doesn't it? I mean, everybody's your boy. This is your boy. But it's funny, so I'm going to roll with it. This is your boy, Don the Bomb, back for another exciting action-packed food review. And this is a very special food review. And first of all, I wanted to give a shout out to my sister, Jenny, who lives in West Virginia, who was kind enough to send me these chips to devour and to review for everybody. And as you probably can see right here, it says proudly made in West Virginia. So what chips do I have today to review? They are from the company, Mr. B. And I am not familiar with Mr. B because I live in Northeast Ohio. So. This is something that's probably predominant in West Virginia, obviously by the uh, West Virginia logo. So uh, I am greatly appreciative of her sending me these to try. And also I wanna take the time to thank all of my family, my friends that have been supportive along the way. I get texts and pictures all the time. Hey, you gotta try these, you gotta look out for these, these are out. So I greatly appreciate all the little, the tidbits and the and the texts and everything you know I, I appreciate all the support that my family and friends have given me so uh without you there is no me and hell i mean i think most of you guys are the ones that watch my food reviews so uh and thank you for being a part of the bomb squad and if you're not part of the bomb squad what are we waiting for what are you doing subscribe and join the bomb squad that's what life is all about we're here to bring joy and smiles to people's faces with quality food reviews and other interesting stuff that I post on my ever-growing channel. So what do I have today from West Virginia? I have Mr. B's potato chips. I have pepperoni, pepperoni roll, easy for me to say. I have biscuits and gravy and 304 style. I don't know if that's a zip code or whatever, but hey, I'm here for it. It seems like a wide variety of different things to, to try out. So, hey, I'm here for it. So, all right, without any further ado, let's start off with pepperoni roll. Mr. B, they're the bee's knees. Truer words have never been spoken. All right. So it says, let me get a little, you know, history of the Mr. B, because it says right here. Since 1951, Mr. B has been making the finest potato chips from simple ingredients right here in the Mountain State. Our potato chips are made from real whole fresh potatoes. And okay, we leave the skins on and cook them at slower and at lower temperatures than the big chip companies because perfection takes time. The result is a true blast from the past. How, how can you go wrong with that? Bee's knees, Mr. B, it's checking all the boxes here at my dinner table. So first of all, the pepperoni roll. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's take care of business, fam. There you see it, pepperoni roll, potato chips down the hatch. Mmm, okay. You do get that pepperoni flavor. And I like that. You always want to see when a chip tastes like it's supposed to taste. You get the pepperoni, you get a little bit of the, uh, even a little bit of that breading with the potato chip actually kind of tastes like the breading of a pepperoni roll. Mmm. They're a little on the salty side, but pepperoni is a salty meat. Potato chips are usually salty, so still, they have a very good flavor. Very crisp. I'll have to give these. I'll give these a... I just need a little more information. More information is good. I want to get an accurate assessment. I'll give these the token down the bomb 7 out of 10. Hey, you got to go with it. That's what works. All right. Mr. B, they're the bee's knees, biscuits, and gravy. And you always got to remember, 
make a wish a quality foundation for all the less fortunate youngsters out there it's a very very worthy cause celebrating 25 years of wishes together very awesome all right this one oh i kind of jacked up the bag that's never good biscuits and gravy oh, this one's got a hole you can see the uh the skin like they said they leave the skins on more flavor And like I said, these are a little salty as well, like the last ones. I don't mind salt too much. And these are not spicy. You know, you guys know I'm in for all the spice and all the heat, but, you know, these, these chips are taking it easy on me. And this does taste like biscuits and gravy. I hear this one. They made it work in a simple little chip to put the big flavor of biscuits and gravy. Rolling, rolling. All right. I'll have to give these a uh, 6 out of 10. And last but not least, we got Mr. 304 style. Which I guess is as good as mine what this is going to be about. It really doesn't say. It's just, once again, they're the bee's knees. So, 304 style. Just 304. Here we go. Take a look at that. And we're going to go down the hatch. Mmm. It's got a little like salt and vinegar note that hit me right away, I think. Let's see what the ingredients are in here. Got your token garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, spice, natural smoke flavor. It really doesn't... It's a big chip. You know, it kind of tastes like a, a cross between a salt and vinegar and maybe like a barbecue. Kind of similar to the, uh, the Zaps Voodoo chips, which I really like. Oh, pretty good. They're salty, too, but what do you expect for potato chips? All right. A little bit of everything today. I will give the Mr. 304 style potato chips, fresh from West Virginia. I will give those an 8 out of 10. A very good experience. So, uh... Man, I'm very satisfied with uh, these chips here. So they are the bee's knees. So just remember, if you can, like, subscribe, uh, comment if you want, join the bomb squad. And uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, uh, enable notifications on your cellular device and ring that bell. And as I always like to say, all that glitter is not gold. Down the bomb until the next one. Peace.